That's like a that's like a good brown. He said it's 18 inches. All right, so I'm gonna hand them to you. Oh God. And if you. If oh God. You, Does he spike or anything? Nope. You're too close. Grab grab my le right your right hand right here and your left hand back here. Okay. What Go if ahead. I throw him in? I'm gonna have my net right underneath you. Okay. Will Go he ahead. wiggle? Is there gonna no, be bugs? You're fine. Hold He's on, wiggle, you're putting you're him too close. <laughs> I'm gonna do this, guys. If, I'm gonna hand him to you. All right. Go Ready? ahead. All right. Go ahead. Do it, Valerie. Him. Oh my God. <laughs> Is it gonna yeah. That's awesome! Okay, take my picture of her in before I take it! Hey guys, we're going on a quick fly fishing trip, guided trip out of Ashton, Idaho with Three Rivers Ranch. And uh, come go with us and check it out, see how we do. So on this trip, um, when I scheduled it, it was mine and Valerie's first fly fishing trip together. I fly fished once other time with Kevin. But so I called him in and we got lucky and we found a cancellation. We did get lucky because these things book up mm -hmm. way in advance. You can book a half half day or a full day, and so you know I'm like, well, let's get our money's worth. So I booked the nine hour trip. A full day trip is nine hours, which includes getting you from the guide shop to where you're fishing and back to the guide shop. And a gourmet lunch. And what they mean by gourmet lunch is... A really good sandwich. Mm -hmm. And some pasta, pasta salad. salad. Yeah. Some little like pecan cookie things. All right, everybody, this is Jackson, our guide. Howdy. Hopefully he's not an idiot. <laughs> oh, I am, but... So today we'll be doing some dry dropper fishing. Should see some salmon flies and some golden stones, so they're big like inch and a half bugs flying around um hopefully they eat that and if not we're gonna just be you know dropper fishing getting them on nymphs okay um we're gonna put in here at cottonwood go all the way down to byington okay probably stop fishing right above byington just float out and enjoy the rest of the day because it's gonna be like 92 degrees so oh yeah it's, it's gonna be hot it's gonna get warm um yeah hopefully for and have day. a gourmet lunch. Yeah, have a gourmet <laughs> lunch. Hopefully catch a whole bunch of cutthroat and brown trout. And okay. See how it all goes. Okay, should be fun. <laughs> he said, just follow that trail. He'll meet us down at the water. <laughs> yeah, it's a... Uh... It's funny because it's like Idahoans. I mean, if you're not an Idahoan, then pretty, pretty here comes Jackson. our loading dock. Ready to go? Waiting on Jackson. on the banks here. I'm just going to 
just gonna get us down a little ways out of this hydraulic, and then we'll go from here. Such a nice day. Did you call this a gravel bar? Yes. Sandbar, but a gravel bar. Trying to, yeah. Yeah. This is my first fish, guys. Yeah. Sorry you missed all the action. He's a brown. We'll show you in a minute. I'm so excited. How big do you think he is? He's pretty damn big. For your first fish, that's incredible. Big male, too. See how he's got that little type starting to form on his bottom jaw? Uh -huh. My first catch of the day was pretty exciting. As you all saw in the beginning of the video, I had a freak out moment because I don't like touching squishy, <laughs> slimy, squirmy things. I'm not into bugs. I don't like holding fish. So I was gonna be brave though, because I'm like, this is my first fly fishing trip. If I'm gonna do this in Idaho, I'm going to hold a trout. I'm going to do this. So I did it. I caught, um, an 18 inch brown trout my like one of one of my first few casts yeah so right the, off the, it, um, it, boat dock it was funny because the guy's like all right we're gonna go out here and i'm gonna show you how to cast your fly rod and so she, he does it and then she throws one or two out and she's pulling it in and, and she caught this you know an 18 inch brown trout for this part of the country is big and uh, she's like, what do I do? <laughs> yeah, well, at first he had warned me because I, I had originally warned him. I'm like, Jackson, look, I just want to tell you that it's going to take me a minute to like just be brave and want to hold the fish. And he's like, well, I just want to tell you that sometimes you can feel the, the flies, the bugs inside the belly squirming around. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, forget it. It's over. <laughs> I was really like trying not to freak out about what I might feel. But I did it. It was great. And then from that moment on, I was like, I'm doing this. And I held just about every fish I caught, except for when Jackson's trying to maneuver the boat. Like your guide is rowing. He's trying to tell you where to, you know, throw your line. He's helping. He's doing all these things. Yes. So this is called mend, when you make a little C loop in it, in the line. Stay right on that seam, Garrett. Perfect, big man. Stripping a little bit of line. Good. Another man. Perfect. Let it hunt. Right. I'm waiting for a rainbow with the red stripe down his Good. belly. Yeah. All down to your Look how great it man. is out here. Salmon fly. There he goes. Watch a trout jump up there and grab him. Look how beautiful it is. If you look downstream, we've got a big, like, brown spot in the water. That's another ripple. We're going to fish the drop off the ripple on that left side. He's doing all these things. He's unwinding your mess of a fly. Yeah, well, you get tangled up, so he <laughs> fixes it. It's nice because he fixes all that, and, he, and, and they tie a fly rod, a fly, you have a leader, which is just a long piece of string off the, the fly string is actually rubber. And so they tie all that for you. They tie it different than what I would tie like a crank bait or bass bait. So I just let him do his thing. So it's kind of- Yeah, we kept him busy. <laughs> But he's doing all this stuff and then he's got to like work the current. So like if the river is, you know, pushing him a certain way and it's not a still area that we're in and I caught a fish, I'm kind of on my own to deal with it for a second unless he can get it off the hook real quick and just throw it back. There's no time for pictures. Mm -hmm. So we couldn't get a picture of every fish we caught, but we had a lot of fun. It's going to fly out and be so much more fun. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you get? Don't know yet. Go ahead, strip down on him a couple times. Good. Keep your eye too high, keep that rod bent, just like that. Or... I don't think so. Yeah, he did. Let's go. 
I'd lift that over my head. Let him run that right He is under there. You must have caught a big one. There he goes. <laughs> we, we caught one at the same time. <laughs> I know. I was you just letting. You didn't even have your rod. In no. Your hand, well, I was you? letting my uh, line just float because I was trying to film Jared. <laughs> it's, this this fly fishing stuff's too easy. It's too easy. <laughs> what are they? Two browns? Nope. Jared has a rainbow, and you have a white fish. Oh, fine. Okay. I think both of the hooks are out. No. Is my line in your way? No, you're fine. We're gonna anchor up right down here. Okay. Take your rod. Yeah. Oh, her rod's okay. You want to just give him a drink? I'm just kidding. Not with a rod between someone's legs. Yeah, I had the rod between my legs. I thought legs. you were hung up on bottom. I was like, Valley, the rod's gonna snap if we don't grab it. <laughs> and then I saw the fish and I was like, fuck it, net them both. I just was like, I'll let it hang because I'll film his. And... Yeah. Oh, watch your rod. That's hilarious. Um, yeah, you're fine. I'm off. <laughs> We've had nothing but madness since we put the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Here. Well, that's Actually, what you, you get with us. It? I'll take a picture for you. Okay. Jackson was really funny in like the way he would teach you and, and talk to you through the whole thing. Valerie, you need to mend your line. Jarrett, mend your line. Jarrett, recast. Valerie, recast. Because he doesn't want you to get tangled up together. Mm -hmm. And you're like flinging this line across each other, worried you're going to hook somebody. but Or yourself. Yeah. But, so, um, but he does a good job. I mean, he... he you get a ton of instruction. Yeah. And when, 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 when you're trying to learn how to do it, because fly fishing is not like, you know, like if I fish with a, with my bait casting rod, it's all about when I cast that rod, it's all about torque and getting out there as far as you can. And when you fly fish, it's all about finesse and keeping your line in the water. You and know. like, yeah, when you mend it, it means like put that little sea loop in it and it kind of just makes the, the fly float naturally down the water and he, you have to keep fixing it as it goes, and it's kind of neat, but um, I mean, he was just really cool, right on it, telling us what to do, and when you'd get one, he'd say, hit him, hit him, hit him, hit him, mm -hmm. and it's like, what, what are we doing? <laughs> really? Sometimes he would say hit, and then Valerie would have a fish, and I'd be like, <laughs> and then. <laughs> <laughs> Who caught one? <laughs> Everybody hit him. <laughs> so when you'd mend your line, then you'd go, let it hunt, let it hunt, and that just means like, just let it, let it float down the river. So you kind of learn the language, and. It's just really neat. Good time. Definitely, definitely cannot wait to go back and do it again. It's absolutely gorgeous today. He's not trash? There's subspecies of a trout. Valerie, watch your fly, watch your fly. Yeah, that's perfect. Ooh, you got him. Be a white fish? What's a trash fish? 
Well, they're not really trash fish. I was just kind of joking. I said, oh, it's a trash fish. But so we would catch white fish, which um, is, a, is a cousin, I think, of the trout. Maybe like a step cousin. But you go out there wanting a certain fish. Mm -hmm. And I think you guys were like, you know, oh. oh, that's not what we wanted. Throw it back out. It's a trash fish. I'm like, no fish is a trash fish. Hey, uh, fish on, <laughs> fish on, the fish on. What's he called again? A hybrid what? It's a, actually that's a pure rainbow. Wow. You want a whole for you? He's little. But I got another one. We're three for three, aren't we? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, that's a really nice fish. Get that ratchet nice and high. Oh, we're not gonna make it down my favorite channel. Oh, we can. Forget his fish. Oh, he got a good one though. Yeah, he's got a nice one. Might be a cut though. Yep. You can make it Looks down like your favorite channel. Up. I can see him. That looks good. Oh, oh no! Brown. He can't be bigger than mine. I don't know if he's bigger than yours, but that's a nice brown. Yep. Just say he's not gonna like tonight. Good luck. Go down, chief. Look at the color on his cheek. See that? Open it. Open it. Nice. Yep, hold him straight out. What is he? 18 and a half, almost 19 inches. <laughs> Beat me by a half inch. So Jarrett thought his trout was bigger than mine by a half inch, but I don't know it was on you guys can do the judging according to the photos. I'm pretty sure my first brown trout was bigger. No, I measured it. Yeah, I made one. Our gourmet <laughs> meal. Made by Three Rivers. And pasta salad, somewhere. Jackson's holding out on us. Woohoo! Let that one hunt for about it. Okay, you got me all fixed? Yep, you're all fixed. Thank you. Nice cupcake, pretty cupcake. Ooh, am I in the way? Nope, you're fine. Mm. I don't want to fall out of the boat. Yeah. Oh. Mm, Jump good right catch. There. This is the one you come here south with. All right, How pretty that, thing that is pretty. Jarrett's number five. Woo! He doesn't like being on camera. Uh, yeah, you're already on here. Uh, see why they call them cutthroat? Yeah, let me have you one more. That okay. crimson. That's so beautiful. Can I take a photo? Oh, oh sorry. Too late. Drop off here on the right where that brown is that blue water. wild and that water moves uh, Jack said it moves about eight miles an hour which if you're watching it, it it's really fast and like mm -hmm. while you're fishing and you're doing all this stuff and you're looking down at the water when you're looking at it moving you think you're moving 
and like he pulled over in these like gravel bars mm -hmm. and we'd actually be stopped but if you're watching the water it feels like you're moving so your brain is like doing all this weird stuff equilibrium stuff and then when i got home afterward i didn't feel sick or anything or like seasick or any of that till i got home and you know, like we showered and cleaned up and laid down and then we both felt like we were, were still, moving still it was i think for me on the trip it wasn't that bad until at the end of the day we were we go in this little boat dock and I would look to my left where the water was and I felt like we were moving. Yeah. And it kind of freaked me out a couple of times because I'm like, if we get off this boat dock, then we could get in real trouble. Oh, because, yeah. And so I'm like, and so I'm like, look over and I'm like, crap, we're moving. And then I will look at the dock and I'm like, no, we're not. We're still sitting still. So it, it does mess with you. And like Val said, it took, it took me until going to sleep and waking up to feel like I we wasn't floating down the river. Yeah. <laughs> And it's wild because, um, I mean, it was July, mid-July, and you'd think that that water would be warm. You know, if you fell in, you'd be okay. No, you might get carried away, and there could be some serious accidents. And that water's really cold, actually. 55 degrees is what he said. Yeah, so on a hot day, like, it felt good. We had a light, you know, you want to wear long sleeves so you don't get sunburned or whatever, but a light long sleeve shirt. You would feel hot enough that you felt like, oh, I want to get in this water. Like, at least put some on your arms, but... If you if you were in that water more than five minutes, you'd probably be in trouble. Yeah, I would um, a couple of times when we were stopping. When I was hot, I would just I was wearing flip flops. So I kick my flip flops off and stick my feet in water, and it was sixty sixty a couple of minutes, and I was I was no longer hot. Yeah, it would just could cool you right off. just caught two fish on one line. One on the bottom bait, one on the fly. I can't believe you caught two cups. <laughs> so that's a seven. Yeah, it is. Oh, you know dude. what? That's not even fair. I can't believe you. It's seven to four, and because Jarrett caught two on one line. Yeah. Hey, when you're good. I just showed Jackson how to catch two on one line. <laughs> Valerie caught number six. Jared's got eight, Val six. And this one looks like a beauty. <laughs> Sorry, what was that? <laughs> yeah. He almost had nine, but he lost him. Look at this. So I caught the catch of the day so i think that even though you caught 10 and i caught six i still won because i caught the yellowstone cutthroat the most coveted fish in the idaho rivers i doubled <laughs> up on cutthroats how many cutthroats did you get you only got you didn't get a cutthroat yeah when i caught those two no those were rainbows I'm little pretty, rainbows I'm pretty sure they're cutthroats you had them two in your hand. Mm, I'm pretty sure they're cutthroats. We'll go back through the pictures and decide. But I got the biggest Yellowstone cutthroat. She did. And that made me feel like mission accomplished.
But I got no. the biggest fish. And, no. And the most fish. Whatever. <laughs> You're so competitive. We had a good time. That was a blast, and, and honestly, it was um, it was pretty pricey, but it's well worth the money. Oh yeah, I would definitely do the full day because mm -hmm. I felt like at lunchtime I still wanted to like do this. I was not done for the day, so. The views and and the stuff you see being out on the water just. Oh my gosh, we saw like three bald eagles. Mm -hmm. I tried to get that one on film. Two of them like flew over us and that one that was in the trees, like he was just like, you know, boss man, just like watching over everything. The float down the river is almost worth the money without the fishing. Yeah, but when the you're fishing, in a, yeah, that's the fishing the best, is that's like the best that. part. Yeah. Woo. Definitely worth the money, and if you ever get a chance, if you're not a whore one on me, get or, a fly fishing guide and go do it. There's mm -hmm. tons of them around. Just pick one, get a full day, take water. They'll bring, they'll pack some stuff for you too, but take some extra water, some sunscreen, and you're ready to go. Watch it out. such a great time today. I am exhausted. I'm gonna let Jarrett talk to the camera a little bit and tell you a little bit about our day. But that was so much fun. People come here all the time to catch that. What's it called? Yellowstone Cutthroat? Yep. And that's what we got. Woohoo! All right guys, so we're home uh, underneath the back patio. It's a little bit later at night. <clears throat> what a good day it was. We had a full day of fishing. Uh, we caught, I caught 10 to Valerie six mm -hmm. and I actually doubled up and caught two at one time which was pretty cool never done that before that was insane so uh, really good time Jackson from um, <clears throat> our guide today was awesome he was at uh, was it Three Rivers Ranch yeah Three Rivers Ranch in Ashton Idaho almost to Island Park almost to Island Park uh, really a nice guy did a great job was really patient with us put us on the fish he pretty much was telling us where they would be and where to cast to and we were catching them. So if you're ever in Idaho and you get a chance to do it, highly recommend it. Hope you enjoyed the video. We'll be back in a couple of weeks. Hope everyone's doing well. And we'll talk to you guys next time. See you on our next adventure. See you on our next adventure. Oh, like and subscribe. It'd be handy. Thank you. <laughs>